And we are back with yet another episode of the most quotable films of all time. And you guys pretty much unanimously voted on this one for Rain Man, the uh, film that we put in the polls, starting with the letter R. Uh, definitely very quotable, uh, mostly by Dustin Hoffman, I think. But uh, we'll see what happens. So um, you want to start us off with your number five? My number five is Rain Man. Mm -hmm. of, of course and the rain guy, man himself rain man himself yes uh, uh, lights out absolutely lights out what at 11 oh lights out at 11 yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's good that and goes then, very then, regimented <laughs> And then the, the 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 next quote to that would be, you know, like two minutes later he got he got sixteen minutes to eleven. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sixteen minutes to eleven. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I got one similar to that, uh, a little higher up, but I didn't pick that one. Um, so my number five. This is the only kind of long one that I put in because I feel like you have kind of have to have a little bit of the back and forth uh, when it's the scene where th they realize how smart he is with numbers. Raymond. Yeah. Are you good with numbers? Yeah. I read about this and we'll try something here. Need more 400 Oak Street. What did I tell you after this? Right? After this. Ray, can we try something? Yeah. Do you know how much 312 times 123 is? 38376. He's right. What? He's right. He's right? Yeah. Ray, how much is 4,343 times 1,234? 5359262. He's a genius. He's right. He's a genius. Ray, do you know how much the square root of 2,130 is? 46.1519204. 2,304. That's amazing. I mean, that is amazing. He should work for NASA or something like that. But, right. but then, of course, he come, uh, gives him an easy question just about life after that, and he doesn't know the answer. Or uh, in dollars, I think it is. Right. Uh, where it's, you know, useful. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So that's my five. What, what's your four? <laughs> I, I it was our quote in there other than like <laughs> I didn't bother writing the whole thing down. <laughs> okay. Maple syrup is supposed to be on the table before the pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. So my number four, kind of like your five, is uh and I think this is actually the very last bit of dialogue in the movie, uh, because he had said this before, but he says, Of course, three minutes to Wagner. You'll make it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because he's got to watch Judge Wapner. And it's got to be on time. So, uh, that, that didn't make your list? Uh, no. Okay, what's your three? My third, actually, both Raymond and Charlie said this quote. Okay. Charlie said it first, and Raymond said it last. T Mark sucks. <laughs> ah, yeah. Okay. That was because of the whole uh, underwear thing, right? Yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the underwear thing. All right. <laughs> uh, I, get, I get my boxes, George, in Kmart in Cincinnati. <laughs> right. I get, we're not going to Cincinnati. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I that, think... was whole, that was a whole big thing going. Was... Right. As great as uh, Hoffman was in this, I feel like Tom Cruise's uh, performance was kind of underrated too because he was really great. Uh... It, it was very watching him so young. Yeah. And he's so angry and like, you know, he actually has more of a arc in the movie like going from 
this guy who more or less only cares about himself to like really yeah uh caring yeah about his brother right yeah um so yeah my number three <laughs> is just uh one word and it's uh oh yeah i i i had that originally and then i took it off and traded it for a different one that he says all the time yeah i could have also added in there the ow 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 <laughs> <laughs> But I just left it as uh oh, which pops up a few times. So, what's your uh, number two? I'm an excellent driver. Hey, that's my number two. Oh, uh, finally. <laughs> yeah, I knew one of these would hit. I, I didn't know it'd be on the same number. That's cool. Uh, yeah, you got to have that one, man. It was hard to, uh, <laughs> yeah, there must be about 25 folks that you could do on that. Yeah. Total, totally. Um, okay, so we're at number one. Uh, I also went with one word for mine, which is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the other way he says a lot is like every time uh, uh, probably asks him a question, he goes, I don't know. I yeah, don't yeah. Know. Right, right. Yeah. That That's was another not- good one. Almost like a nervous tick or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> exactly. That's good. So what's your number one? That's my number one. <laughs> oh, the I don't know? Okay. Nice. So we were pretty much on the same uh, wavelength. We just went with different uh, ticks. <laughs> so I guess our number one should be the one we had in common. I'm an excellent driver. And then two and three, it doesn't really matter which one we can have. Yeah. And then I don't know. <laughs> this is going to be a very fast top five. <laughs> uh, so then we got to have uh, our number threes, I guess. So it's uh, Kmart sucks. We can put that at four and uh oh at five. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the fastest top five ever. So before we get to it, did you have any honorable mentions? Uh, yeah, one of uh, uh, Charlie's ranch. I should be in LA. Instead, I'm in the Honeymoon Haven Motel in Bumblebee, Bumble fucking Missouri, because you won't go out when it rains. Mr. Fine. Fucking mystifying. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's better when you do it. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, that's a good one. And I also, a scene that I always uh, think about, I don't know if it's the same scene where he like realizes that he's the rain man, but it's uh, it's when he flips out about the water being hot and you can tell that like it comes from the childhood trauma of like the hot water on the baby and right. he's going hot water on baby or whatever. And, uh, and then Tom Cruise is like, I didn't get burned, man. I'm not burned. Uh, yeah. That's like a kind right. of sweet scene or the first, one of the first ones between them. Probably with the one I called the rain man. Yeah. Uh, right. When he was baby and he called him rain rain man yeah 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 exactly so um yeah great movie man so what any other honorable ones uh there was a another uh raymond one where uh he was trying to get uh uh charlie to fly to los angeles mm. and, and he's not mumbling about too much too many crashes, I'm safe, I'm safe, too many crashes, I don't, going to the whole thing. And then yeah. and he's, he's rattling off the airlines and he's going, uh, Delta, Delta crash and whatever. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, those quantas, quantas never crash. Right. Never crash. And then it just culminates with him screaming or whatever, so that, that's not going to happen. <laughs> and, and uh 
Well, another trolley valley. He doesn't understand the concept of money. He just inherited three million and he doesn't understand the concept of money. Wow, good work, Dad. I'm getting fucking poetic here. <laughs> <laughs> then, of course, there's the whole thing with him being uh, able to count cards and, you know, the, the whole uh, Las Vegas section, which is great. There's some fun <laughs> stuff there. But the... Uh... He was sitting in the restaurant, uh, and they were getting pancakes again. The pancake, and that's when the whole thing with the uh, uh, that the syrup wasn't there. But he said, yeah. "He said Sally did Sally did four six point oh one nine two because he read the name tag on the thing." Yeah. So he goes, "How do you know my telephone number?" Yeah. And he, that's because. Uh, Charlie gave him the phone book to read because he wanted to read a book and came to the phone book. And he was all the way up to Jay or something that night. Right, yeah. Insane. Uh, great stuff. Well, now, without further ado, here are three and four's top five Rain Man quotes right now. Uh-oh. T-Mark sucks. I don't know. Yeah. I'm an excellent driver. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good list, I must say. So now we got to go with the letter S, which is always a tough one because there's so many good choices. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll start with mine from the top down. I've got swingers, sling blade, stripes, and the Shawshank Redemption, which I don't think I've ever put on my list before somehow. Don't we know how I missed that one. We didn't do Shawshank? No, we haven't done it. We've done Star Wars and what was the other one? I can't remember, but not that one. Yeah, that's how we did Shawshank. All right, well, I'm, my number one is the number one I keep saying. <laughs> Shakespeare and Love. <laughs> <laughs> that's never going to win. <laughs> All right, what's <laughs> what's the rest? Rude. Scrooge with a D, my favorite. Yeah. Okay. I'm surprised you didn't do it, but that's okay. Uh, Silence of the Lambs. Ooh, another good one. And one that we agreed on. Yeah. Stripe. Ah, okay. Great. Well, then Stripes has to make the list. And then it's so then we got. Uh, our number ones, Swingers and Shakespeare in Love. So then it's between Scrooged and Sling Blade. And since uh, I love Scrooged, I'll give you that one. So that's that's a good, that's pretty much all over the place. Well, we've got two Bill Murrays there. That's good. I don't think Sling Blade had that much... Uh... Well, it's uh, similar to Rain Man in many respects. <laughs> well, all the good quotes would be from uh, Billy Bob on that one. Like, uh, you know, the French fried taters and whatever. Uh, I haven't seen that in forever, but that, that's got a lot of good lines. So, um, all right. Well, those are your choices for next time. Stripes, Swingers, Shakespeare in Love, and Scrooged. We will see what wins and see on the next one. All right. Love you. Yeah. All right. Bye.